Fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a Goddard Cadiz or a slight variant of one. Instead of the hackle in front, I'm going to use some CDC. And here I'm going to tie this on a size 16. And this one is this cartridge standard dry size 16 SLD2. And this one is just a little bit thicker wire than their other dry fly hook. The materials for this one is only two materials. It's some deer hair. Here I'm using one that is a little bit lighter and also I'm going to use some CDC. Here I have some in natural black. The thread is the Nano Silk from Sempafly 18 0 in beige. And I'm going to start this right and just put down a little bit of thread right down to the band. Then cut off the excess. And then the first thing to do is to take a clump of deer hair and here on this size 16 you don't need too much but take quite a bit we want this to be quite stacked then we have to take away all this fuzz at the bottom I'm just using a little comb and this one works really well so get your hair nice and cleaned out if you leave all this fuzz here at the bottom you won't be able to spin the deer hair. For the first clump we're not going to spin it, we're just going to tie it in as a tail or like a tail. This is going to be so that we get a little bit of fiber sticking out to the back. So here what I'm going to do is to do two loose turns and keep hold of these really well and then I'm going to start tightening down and as I do this, I'm going to go forward through the ends. And then, as you can see, we have all these deer hair sticking out towards the back. You can then push it back just a little bit, advance your thread, and stay right in front. Put in a couple of turns just to secure this little bunch. Then take the deer hair again, and a clump the same size, about a pencil or just a little bit thicker and here again sort out all these or all, all this fuzz here at the bottom and take away the shortest fibers and here for the second one what I'm going to do is to turn it in my hands so I have all the tips pointing forward I'm going to cut these off really close so now I have a little stack here with Shorter fibers, it's a little bit easier to spin these. The long ones are going to get stuck and not spin around the hook as well. So here, put this on top. Two loose turns. And then, on the third turn, we're going to pull down. And as we do this, the deer hair is going to spin around the hook. And then... You can go back in the last clump that you tied in and then go forward. With this 80 knot it's really easy to get the thread down right to the shank and not bind down any of these fibers or these hairs. So then what I'm going to do is to pull everything back, take a few turns right in front again. And then I'm going to add a little clump again. This one is a little bit smaller than the two previous ones. I'm just going to clean out all this under fur again. And here I'm not going to cut this off, but I'm going to have the tips pointing towards the front. So what you want to do is to put this down on the top. To loose turns this time again and then as we pull you do your third turn and start and there we see that this is going to spin around the hook and then go back just into the previous clump and this is going to bind these together just making it a little bit nicer looking and then I'm going to go forward, push back all the fibers, 
or headers and stacking these a little bit and then as we left these tips they are a lot easier to grab onto so you can just grab and hold all these back and make sure you get in a few turns right in front and then what you have to do is to do a whip finish so here try not to trap any of the hairs two turns pull tight and cut off your thread and then what I'm going to do is to pull all these fibers a little bit towards the front to make sure that the hook is nice and leveled and then what I'm going to do is to do first a cut a straight cut at the bottom this is going to help the fly ride the right way and then I'm going to take my scissors from the eye and with an angle towards the back I'm going to cut all the way around and then for these fibers or these hairs towards the back I'm going to pull these, hold these together and then cut them off at an angle like this and then just continue building the shape and then I'm also going to take a razor blade and just to get in really close here at the bottom I'm going to cut this really flat and then what you can do is also bend this a little bit and cut off at the top and this is going to make a nice round profile on the top and then I'm going to take my scissors again and just trim away a few of the fibers or the hairs I want this to be have a flat profile on the underside so that the fly will ride the right way staying quite low in the water and then what I'm going to do is to shape this a little bit here at the back as well I'm going to cut this in at an angle like this and on the other side as well and then just trim away a little bit of these ones that are a little bit too long and here everyone has a preference of how to cut these to shape. I like this shaped a little bit like this and this is going to represent the wings of a caddis and I'm also going to clean up just around the eye a little bit taking away these hairs sticking out towards the front and here the razor blade is quite handy you can get in really close and just cut these off just make sure not to cut off your thread and here you can trim these for hours but I think this is quite nice like this and then I'm just going to take a little brush and brush away all if we have any stuck little pieces of deer hair there we go, so now it's just to reattach the thread again and then we're going to do this right behind the eye make a few turns, make sure not to trap these hairs then cut off the thread and here I have some Hairs sticking out the wrong way, and 
here I don't have much room, but you don't, don't need much room here in front. So I'm not going to do a normal hackle on this one. Instead, I'm going to use some CDC, which is going to give a little bit more length, a little bit more bugginess, I think. So here I'm going to take one single CDC feather. And these ones are quite small, they are this nice dark brown or black as they call it, it's more like a dark grey. And I'm going to use the magic tool just to get all these fibers aligned. And now I have all the CDC fibers aligned, I'm just going to cut these off quite close to the stem. And this is all you need on this little small size, then I'm going to use the split thread technique, so spin your bobbin counterclockwise, this is going to flatten the thread and this is going to allow you to split it in two. Then take this little clip and insert it between the two threads that you just made. Hold this tight, you can spin it a little bit between your fingers just to start this off, then take your bobbin and spin it clockwise. This is going to cord up the thread and this is going to trap all these CDC fibers in between and this is going to make it really secure. So spin this up 250 times and then take up all these turns and I'm going to build up a small thorax and head and legs at the same time. So just right in front of the CDC or in front of deer hair, I'm going to build this up and make sure that you put in some really heavy turns with this really thin thread. This will allow me to really build up this little small nice thorax and as I do this I'm going to pull all the CDC fibers back so no nothing sticks out over the eye. And then a few turns right behind the eye to tidy up. Before doing anything else, you can just whip finish. Three turns. One, two, three. Pull tight. Cut off the thread. And then what I'm going to do is to take this little brush thing. And I'm going to brush these just a little bit so that stay where they should and then to get this to ride a little bit lower in the water I'm going to cut off the CDC right at the bottom I just think this makes a little bit neater fly so there we have all these fibers sticking out to the sides but we also have this nice flat bottom, so this is going to make this ride extremely well in the water and this one is almost unsinkable with CDC and deer hair, so this you can just use a little bit of CDC oil or some floatant just to rub it in, in the deer hair and the CDC and this is going to float forever. So there we have this Goddard Caddis CDC variant. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, see you next time and happy time!